OK, let's talk about some enhancements now. I explained in my previous videos that each time you scan the array, another item is going to find itself in the right place. So the next time you scan the array, you can do one less comparison. Now I already have a variable here, which is being incremented each time I pass through the outer loop. So if I simply take the value of this and subtract it from the number of comparisons we do in the inner loop, like this, then this version of the program will actually do half as many comparisons as the original. It's considerably more efficient. Now I'm just going to quickly test to make sure I've got that right. It's still sorting the data properly. Now I can't see any difference in how much quicker it is, but if I had a really big array, I might be able to notice it. There's one more enhancement I want to make to this, which will cause the bubble sort to finish early once the data is fully sorted. Consider this, if the inner loop scans along and it doesn't swap anything, then the data must all be in the right place. So I'm going to declare a boolean variable called bswapped. And we'll make sure it's set to false when the outer loop begins. If a swap takes place, we'll set it to true. And then we'll test to see if it's false when the inner loop is finished. And if it is, we'll just exit the procedure. So the idea is, once the data is already in order, everything stops. Let's give this final enhancement a shot, see what it does. <laughs> 